Hi. Aura is here. Hi. Ava's here. We're going to do some interesting experiment today. Let us show you something. Galaxy the egg. Whoa, look. Look at wow. the bubbles. They're all over the egg. So, the egg's outer shell is made out of calcium carbonate. It's like the calcium you have in your bones. And the beaker contains acidic acid. The shell contains calcium carbonate. And when base and acid react, they form carbon dioxide, which is released in the form of bubbles. What's that? It's carbon bubbles, and look, I see some cracks in them. Yeah, if you look closely, the egg is being broken. And if you haven't watched our other video on the bouncy egg, you can do that now with the link in the description. Oh, look, some big white cracks. <sighs> and look over here, and look here, and look here. So cracky. The shell used to be hard, but the vein made it soft. And so if you can see all the cracks and all, but it's... But if you want to have a really bouncy egg, which we did in our other video, you'll still need to wait for it to dissolve more. This is vinegar, this is lemon juice, this is oranges. And that's water. Now we're Kitchen. How do you know when it's a base or a neutral? Or an acid. It's because an acids are usually sour and tangy, while neutral tastes like water. So, another way you can tell if a substance is acid, base, or neutral is by using the a pH chart. Um, there's 0 to 14 in it, and acids have a pH level of 0 to 6, Bases have a pH level of 8 to 14, and if a pH is 7, that means it's water. You can use litmus paper, and, and you can dip them in different substances as, and watch as they turn color, and then you can tell if that substance is an acid or base. Zero is more acidic, and, and, um, and 14 is more basic. Every substance is base, acid, or neutral. A base is also called as an alkaline. There. Now I've got four paper grips. Nah. I'm gonna dip the first one into the vinegar. See what color it makes. Okay. So let's check our pH chart and see what it is. Mm, I think it's four. You can see how this is 4, and that means it's an acid, because an acid is 0 to 6. And now we're going to dip it. You can see it's kind of this orangish color. I dipped it in the lemonade. Actually, it's kind of this reddish color and red. And I get the tip in. 
just saying like kind of like this red color. And look at how much I filled this. Because they're all acids. The green one is from coffee. Now you're pretty. But what as you can, this grip? As you can see, this is six. Which is an acid. Hmm. What? When we tested these four liquids and used this pH chart to help, it was between the range of three and six at the acetic acid, which is the vinegar, and the citrus acid, which is the orange juice and lemonade, were, since they're both the same, they're both around four, but the coffee was a little less acetic, so it was around six. I don't have any base, okay. So now we have red cabbage paper, uh, red cabbage powder, and it will show if each liquid is an acid or a base. If it is an acid, it will turn it will turn pink. But if you want an accurate measurement, since it won't be able to tell the pH level, you should use this pH strips. But it will still be able to tell if it's an acid or a base. And now you can see it turned pink. My favorite color! This must mean that it is an acid. Let's see. Let's do the coffee powder next. Because you know, like it's a bit dark, it might need something to lighten it up. Lighten me up with the coffee powder. Please, please, please. Do one more can, I, can I do it? Then you can do it. Yeah, this is turning to pink. Oh, it's pink. Like my favorite color. Is it me? And do you see how it's kind of pinkish? It's because since the color of coffee is dark, you, you can't really see it that good. But, but it looks pink when it's in the spoon. Okay, so now we're... We only make acidic solutions, so now we're going to make a base solution by putting some baking soda. Okay, now I got one more strip. Let's dip it in and see which color it makes. Oh, it turns into this light pretty green. Let's see which one this one is. Yeah, it's eight. Let's see, it's... It's not as dark as ten. It could be eight. That means it's a base. That's red cabbage powder. Oh, sure. It's turning bluish. With the cabbage powder, you can identify if it's an acid or a base. An acid turns pink as a base turns blue. I'll be dipping this in the water. Oh, it's like this light yellow. No, I think it's green. I think this is 7. So pH 7 means neutral solution. So water is a neutral solution. Okay, now I'm going to pour some cabbage powder, powder into the water. And stir it. I think it's going to turn into purple. Mm, it's gross. So what makes an acid or base? So um, A chemist named... Orhinios came up with a way to define acids and bases in, 18, in 1887. He saw that when you put molecules in water, they sometimes they break down and release hydrogen ions. At other times, you find the release of an hydroxide ion. When a hydrogen ion is released, the solution becomes acidic. When a hydroxide ion is released, the solution becomes basic. 
These are two special ions de to determine whether you're looking at an acid or a base. An acid is a substance that, have, that has a pH of 0 to 6. A neutral substance has a pH level of 7. Water. A base has a pH level of 8 to 16. Oh, it's fitting! I'm making sort of an eager. It's fitting! Now, I'm going to try, except this time, it will be... It's fitting! Okay. When acid and base react, they uh, their reaction forms carbon dioxide, which is released in the form of bubbles. It's a fun experiment, and you can explore with different foods or materials you find in your home. If you enjoy this experiment, please subscribe to our channel and click the notification as well so you don't miss any of our new videos. And bye, friends. Bye, friends.